Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and Joanne with World's Cup of Joe. Awaken your soul, your home for balanced energy for your twin flame connection. If you're new to our channel, we are here guiding you and showing you really truly how the energy plays out in your connection because it's totally different than anything you've ever experienced before. And we want to really help guide you in not only how to magnetize, draw your twin flame back in, but how to balance the energy so you can maintain a permanent relating experience with them without the push-pull dynamic that so plagues so many people in their journeys. And it is really a hard, hard thing to do on your own. So we're here showing you, sharing with you, because we've been through it all. For those of you that are new to our channel, we are both in permanent relating experiences with our twin flames, but we have gone through the dark night and the separation and we learned how to balance. We learned how to really understand this energy so that we never push so much that our people pull again. They are permanently with us. We live with them and we watch this energy play out day in and day out. And we guide you with our lessons, with our our struggles and with our successes. So with that being said, today's video is going to be about how do you release fears? How do you release fears in your journey? Because remember, fears are mind and they are going to push. How do you get to this place where you can surrender the fears and trust? And before we start our video, we just want to share with you guys, we are having a Halloween sale for those of you that have been thinking about purchasing one of our products for the next couple of days you can get 30% off anything in our store so click on the link see what resonates and see how we can help you and without further ado here's our video hello our loves let's go ahead and get started go ahead love Here's a question. I had been working with the deep fears that I had regarding this journey. I dealt with the fear of my person having an eye for every woman. I rewatched the answer you gave me for that a hundred times and I finally shifted. Even when my past experience showed him like that, I went deep and I released it. I didn't think one more deep trigger will happen after I magnetized him in. Now the deep fear is that he is a liar. My mind thinks about all the lies he has said to me. I didn't even have a hint of him lying to me. He was very pleasant with me that whole time. So when we talk now and he says things, my mind, my mind's conversation is like, really, you're a liar. I cannot trust a word that's coming out of your mouth. How would I know whether you are telling me the truth or not? That time I found out he came to our country but didn't inform me was devastating and very hurtful. I forgave him for whatever happened in the past before magnetizing him back in, but I'm not able to forgive him for lying to my face after that. And due to that, mind automatically sees everything he is saying through a lens of doubt. There are so many questions that is still unanswered. He immediately pulls, if I ask about his work, what he is actually doing there. I don't know what job he is currently having. And second, his family. These two topics I cannot ask him. The worst thing is, when I randomly hear about someone getting married, I go into this dreadful fear mode of him getting married to someone else and not telling that to me. And I also want to ask Elizabeth specifically, how did she forgive her person for leaving her house without telling her? You told me it's my energy that made him lie to me. How can I change my energy then? I really need your help here because the mind won't just let this go. Thank you. Okay, Joanne, let me start this off because yeah, there's so ahead. much I want to yeah. ask in this question. For sure. Go ahead. There's so much mind, my love. And I and I love you and I say this all with tough love because I love you so much. This journey, us in this connection have to be able to be at a place of unconditional love with our person. Otherwise, it's mind. And this question has so many conditions to it. I want to know about what's going on with their work. I want to know about what's going on with their family. Mind, mind, question, question, mind, mind. I repeated that mind because that's what questions are. And the fact that mind needs to know he's not lying is still a condition. I love you when you're telling me the truth. I love you when you're making me feel this way. I love you. That's not that's not unconditional love. That's conditions. It is from the perspective of the 3D. And I know there's going to be people out there listening to this and say, well, we're just supposed to let our person walk all up. No, that is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this connection is based on unconditional soul love. You are one shared soul. And this connection teaches us how to get to that place of unconditional love, not only with our person, but with ourselves. 
And when you have these questions, when you have to have a preference of, I need to know what's going on or an expectation of everything they have to tell me has to sit with me in this right space, then you are running the connection through mind. And that is your intention is no longer on your piece or whatever your intention was. You guys have to figure that out for yourself. What is going to be so strong to make you not give up your intention? But I'm going to say right now, when I was, because I know you asked me in the question and I'm going to address it, how I forgave my person. So let me just give a back shot before separation. I was in the same place of, I needed to know everywhere he was going. My mind constantly doubted if he was telling me the truth and I had to know because my mind wouldn't be satisfied it felt like he was keeping things from me which made me go into fear mode but that was a me issue and in response to me pushing that energy my person constantly omitted things because he was so worried about telling me anything because I would freak out on him freak out on him so instead of him having to face my wrath of my addictive energy he just omitted stuff now Fast forward to me being balanced. I don't care about any of that stuff. He wants to go out, go out. I don't need to ask who, I don't need to ask where, I don't need, you know why? Because he tells me. <laughs> he tells me now because he knows that no matter what he tells me, I'm going to respond to him with unconditional love. No judgment, no preferences, and no expectations. There are no barriers to our communication anymore because there's never any judgment or expectations. I really want you guys to feel that. When you need nothing from your person, they will give you everything and more. But you cannot be in a place of needing it because if you are, you're running the connection through mind and that is what repels. So it's no surprise that when you ask about his work or family, two things that trigger you, my love, and I know this because we've gone over questions and we've talked to you. Those are two things that trigger you that activate the mind and create the stories. It's no wonder that when you ask about that, he's pulling. It's not because of the questions you're asking. It's because the energy you're sending him when you ask those questions. See the difference. You can do anything if you're doing it from a place of soul. No preference. But if you are in a place of soul, you're probably not asking the questions because soul doesn't care. Mm -hmm. So this is a really huge thing. And you have to work on how you get to a place where Nothing he does can sway you because you're still looking externally to feel safe, to feel whole, to feel complete. And you're looking at his actions, his words, his honesty, whatever you want to call it. You're looking to that to make you feel okay. And that's looking externally. This journey is about how do we go within and make sure we are okay regardless of what anyone else says, does, thinks, feels, acts. It doesn't matter. So when it comes to my person, it took, and it wasn't immediate, it took a lot of shifting to get to the place where when I can go back to that place of him leaving me with just a note on the door, I am no longer triggered or activated. In fact, I actually just said something to him the other night and it was probably pretty mean and I probably shouldn't have done it. I did it sort of in jest, but I realized later like, and I pulled my energy back in immediately after I said something because he looked at me and I felt him pull. Because I did, I, I, I commented something about um, him leaving with no word. I don't remember exactly what it was because I don't ruminate on that stuff. But I said it and I really, as soon as I said it, I realized, you know what? Get back to neutrality. And I did immediately and therefore it didn't push. Because I realized mind was saying that stuff. Mind wanted a reaction. Mind wanted to sort of unleash a little bit of pent up energy that was probably still residing there. But I caught it immediately and neutralized it really, really quick. How I forgave him was a series of series of series of different internal shifts of realizing one, my energy is what caused to push him to where he left. I know that I a hundred percent confidently know that. And everyone's situation is going to be a little bit different, but the context is always the same. Energy pushes, they, they pull and then they act out of character, just like our energy acted out of character towards them. And then the dynamics, they block, they pull, they separate, and then you align and they come back. The energy is all the same. It's all, it's like a, all a mathematical equation. It works out the same way every single time if you do it the right way. 
So with my person and leaving, I had to come to this point of my energy is what pushed. He pulled in response. And I have to be not only an acceptance of what he did, but I have to be an acceptance of who I was at that time. And I have to release both of them. And anytime the mind wants to go back to that, I have to be in the present moment because I have to remind myself those two people that existed at that time and space are no longer us. Those energies are no longer us. And if I try and sit with the past energies, it makes me feel really uncomfortable. And I don't want to feel that. It is no longer us. I wake up next to him every single day. He's the most loving, kind, amazing man I've ever met in my life. And if I were to sit there and harp on stuff that happened way before, I would just be feeding energies that are fear-based, that are no longer serving me. So when you come to this point of how can I trust this person, you have to be at a place of if I want a connection with my person, with my soul, I cannot have any expectations. I can't. And if I don't trust them and I set this boundary for everyone, then I'm going to set it for them as well. So you have to follow the inner resonance. But if you really want a connection with your person, you have to be able to be willing for the time being and, and for all all the rest of your life with them to let go of those preferences. And you'll watch as your preferences get released and your judgment starts being neutralized where you don't have judgment of what they tell you, the stuff that they're going to tell you, they're going to be more forward with you. They're going to be more honest with you. They're going to be more open with you. They're coming to us to find a semblance of peace, a peace that they cannot find by themselves. And when they're coming to you and you're giving them stress and expectations and preferences, it weighs on them like a thousand pound boulder on their shoulders and they can't handle it. That's what makes them pull. You've got to be in a place of releasing the stuff that that is the 3D connection and you have to be able to step into a 5D connection with them. What are your thoughts, my love? When you start to balance in the beginning, when they first come back in, it will be wonky. So you're judging yourself on how your person comes in and how you were first learning how to balance yourself. And so that's the biggest piece is it's still going to be a little off. They will still be a little off. And I think there came a point where I just started to tr trust, right? So my mind wanted to overanalyze and look into everything. And so it's going to be the same balancing you did when you were triggered by him with another person, right? That was your biggest fear and you released it. And so you're going to have to work with this new fear of him lying. And you, you have to get to a place, and this is where I went to, is... I have to get to a place where I have to trust and release and surrender to my soul to the extent of trusting and surrendering to my soul. Yes, we can try to ask for every possible scenario, situation and tr control it, right? But if you can trust and surrender, you will ultimately get what you were asking and seeking. And so the example I have, we had our call um, just yesterday. And I had my, my person had this previous manager who I thought was like so beautiful in my head. My mind like made her some form of pedestal. And I was super, super jealous. And they would text outside of work and it was still very professional, but my mind went there and would be like so just silly. Finally, I released it and I got so deep where I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what anyone, this this boss or anybody else can come in between my connection because it won't touch it because there's no other person that is me, like I am my soul. And so I released it so thoroughly that I never thought about it again, never worried about it again. So you have to get deep within yourself of what it is from you that needs to be released on the lying because if you've truly forgiven him, then you're still putting him into the energetic space of when he couldn't be 100% honest with you. Because my person is fully 100% like so much, like Elizabeth, too much, too much information. Like I don't need to know all this. And then to go back into the manager, she actually ended up getting fired <laughs> later. And I found out from my person that he was like so super annoyed with her the whole time that I was super, super jealous about her. And so that's my point, is the mind is going to have this whole big story about why he's not sharing more information or this and that. The more you release and surrender, 
the more and more your person will give you more without asking for it. You will get more without even begging for it, without looking for it. It naturally just becomes part of your conversations throughout the day because you're not looking and seeking for anything more than releasing that part of you that needed it. That's what it is. Want nothing, have everything. And like I said, I found out later that my person's coworker or, or boss, it was like nothing. And I ended up seeing her again later. And I, I saw her again. I remember I put her in a pedestal before, right? I saw her again recently. Well, I made that whole story in my head. Like you have to just be able to trust and surrender and be able to allow yourself to release those fears the, the mind is trying to hold on to. So you can actually allow your new new balanced energy to speak for itself. It's like you're not trusting your energy. I trust myself. So trust yourself, love. Trust yourself and surrender to your energy that will balance for you, that will allow your person to be 100% present and honest and what you desire, right? But if you're spearing it, then he's not going to be able to give it to you. Because I'm pretty sure back then, my person wouldn't be able to, I, I'm pretty sure I would have manifested more of that manager when in reality it was nothing and in my head created something. But that was because that was my fear. So work with your fears because you will start to manifest through your fears. Send it love. So if the mind thinks that he is lying, send that part of you love and also go back deeper and be like, I don't care. I don't care what he's doing, thinking and feeling when my energy is balanced. He will be more honest because he has no choice. <laughs> the truth will naturally be revealed from them when you are fully present with them and seeing them in a place of soul with no judgment, expectations and preferences, which naturally is a place where he won't be lying, even though the mind fe feared it before. And even though he did and was able to lie before, because my person certainly was able to during the addictive energy as well. And now I don't even know how he can emit information purposely because he's over sharing. Your person will not stop talking to you about everything when you're more balanced. So know and trust your energy, my love. Surrender to your energy. Know that you're more balanced now. And even if you are balancing yourself slowly, give yourself that same grace when it took you a while to realize and balance the fear of jealousy before. Now you're going to work on the fear of being lied to and what does that mean to you and how to fill within yourself and not care what anybody else is going to do for you, but fill it within yourself. We love you guys so much. We hope you have an amazing day. Bye, love. Bye, love.